Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel as always on Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer review. Yeah, all right. Today I got in this from Chosen Prime. This is the Pulse exclusive, but this is the Asian one. They didn't come with the comic. Uh, this is Jetfire from Shire Class. All right, Shire Class Jetfire. Love it. Awesome box. Got a pretty cool picture right there. Just deer in the headlight kind of stand or stare right there. He's like, mm. and then same thing over here. And the same thing over here. And you got shower glass up here. I love the box design, really good. And here is Jet Fire. He transforms in 36 steps. If you want to read that, you can pause for the cause. Very nice. So, yeah, pretty cool. Love that purple and black and that green, man. This is why I was going to look inside. Uh, other than Starscream, I was really looking forward to this Jet Fire. It's a great mold from Siege, and uh, he is Commander Class. So, let's just get right to the review. That's what you came for. All right, let's take a quick look what he comes with as always. So he comes with these two rockets or something. So just black plastic, nice and sculpted in there. Got that. I think this will come apart too. Yeah, so you got, these will come apart. So you can use these as weapons you want to. Very nice. That's good. And they do combine. I'll show you that. And you get two of those. So actually uh, six of these. So six little pieces right there. You get his two guns, two big old guns. And you got that nice, nice purple plastic right there. Looks good. And then the barrel is uh, painted silver or kind of a gun metal. Very nice. And these will combine too. So you just basically just flip that down and then uh, combine them right here. And it makes one big blaster. So very nice. And they're painted. I like that. You get two uh, forearm blasters. Nice purple paint. Kind of a metallic paint, too, as well. Looks really good. And also the barrels for the guns right here are also painted gunmetal silver. You get two of those. Looks good. You get a alternate face mask and very nicely done. So nice silver paint, a translucent green right here for the eyes and up here too for the head crest very nice and you get a chest piece right here beautiful green paint purple paint gunmetal silver paint right here right there nice autobot symbol looks really good nicely paint painted man that looks so good very awesome and then you get six blast effects which they all combine nice translucent blue I like that. Love blast effects. So there you go. You get that. So that is all he comes with. All right. So you can combine everything and this will go onto his alt mode. Now his, uh, his face plate will go in here right there. So you can do that and you just put this like that. And then you got those right here and that's going to go in his alt mode. And I'll show you that in a second. I just want to show you that you can combine that real quick. All right, there's the man of the hour. Man, he's a big fella. That is Commander Class Shattered Glass Jetfire. I'll tell you right now, I love this color combo. Black and purple, I love it. Love that I got silver throughout. Nice translucent green for the cockpits. That looks so good. Nice purple Autobot symbol right there. Looks so good. Can't lift that up. I, wish you, I don't think you can. I don't remember. Yeah, you can. I'm sorry. I'll take that back. You can lift it up, but it kind of, you know, makes the nose cone go a little down, but I guess you can lift it there. But it got some nice sculpt work throughout there. That's painted, you know, gunmetal silver right there, gunmetal gray. But you got some nice silver paint right here, right here. Nice purple, silver for the nose cone. Looks good. Silver paint right here. Silver paint all the way down. Then you got some gunmetal paint right here. Nice green paint right here. I love that green. It really meshes well. Gunmetal silver right here. That came undone. Not bad. There you go. Nice purple right there. 
tons of line work. All that sculpt work throughout looks really good. Got metal silver right there. We got silver right here. And then underneath. Now you do have these little things where, um, if you remember on Jetfire, you can fly in like uh, Optimus or some other ones from uh, Siege or Earthrise, whoever you want to. They can grab onto these little handles. So that's pretty cool. He does have landing gear, as you can see. Nice purple paint right there. So very nicely done. I love the jet mode. It looks really good. Now, if you want to add on, like I said, that thing, all his weapons, all you got to do is, there's a peg right there. Just go into that hole right there. And you can also use the blast effects for the hair. And you can put blast effects here too if you want to. So that's pretty cool. And then you can fly, fly, whoosh to your heart content. So pretty cool. I like that. The all mode looks good. It really does. Like I said, that purple and black just looks so good on this. But there you go. That is the alt mode for Shattered Glass Jetfire. All right, there he is next to the Siege Jetfire. I didn't think I was going to have enough room for both of them because they're really big. But there you go. That's the uh, Siege one and that's a Shattered Glass one. Once again, both I love. Uh, I love the mold for this one. Real quick, there he is next to two Deluxes. Just to show how big he is. Like I said, he is Commander Class. He's a big fella. Scale. And Crapagonics, Crappy Toilet Paper, Lysol, Care Bears for more scale. All right, let's try to transform this big fella. I um, forgot to tell you, you can move the wings up a little bit, you know, but that's, you know, I don't know, weird. But there also is a port right here. You might could put a small stand on there or if you want to, but anyways. All right, let's fold up that right there. Then what you want to do is you want to come a, right here, flip this under, flip this under. There's a tab right there. It's going to go to that slot right there. And you want to move up the wings, snap that into place. Same thing over here. Flip that, flip that, flip that right there. Then right there. All right. Well, this one already come on tab. What you want to do is you want to untab those like there, like that. Then you want to take this part right here, move it up, cover that right there. Then you want to come down. You want to extend kind of a combiner wars the legs real quick. And then what you can also do is you can flip these in, push that in, flip these in, push them in. All right. So you want to... Make sure that is lined up right there. Take this, untab it, flip this around. There you go. Then you want to untie the feet. You may have to get a little tool so I can try to find one and get this toe out right here. Cause it's, uh, it's in there pretty good. All right, there's that one. Okay, come around, untab that once again. Collapse that in, and come do the feet. There we go. All right. So that is how you basically do the bottom half. Let me move the camera up a little bit so we can do the top half. All right. So you want to take these. They are tabbed in. There's a slot right there and tabbed in right there. And then open these up so it can give you enough clearance to do this. All right, so you want to fold those in. Now you want to untab the arms. I can do it real quick. There you go. So you want to untab those. There's a tab right here and there's a hole on this side. So you want to flip this out like that. Then you want to come around and you want to Flip this up right here, kind of combine wars it out again, like that. It's on some hard ratchets. There you go, like that. You want to lift this up a little bit so you can get the fist out. Flip this in right here. There's a hole right there. There's a tab right there. There you go. And then do that. Take that one side. Okay, do the same thing on this side. 
do that. Kind of flip this up. Kind of work it out. It is a hard ratchet. Okay. Get them to stand back up. All right. And then once again, turn around uh, right there. Open that up a little bit so you can get the fist out. Flip this in. Once again, there's a hole right there. Tab that in right there. Move it around. There you go. All right. Take the nose cone, bend it down. Go all the way down right here. Now you're going to take the head. It's going to pop out of that little compartment right there. And you want to kind of just snap that in there. Move these down and they will snap into place as well. Turn your head around and then snap the shoulders in right there. And there you go. That is how you transform shattered glass jet fire. Let me clean them up a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, let's take a quick look at Jet Fire. He is in, you know, here he is without the armor. I'll put the armor on a little bit. But we'll just take a quick look at him. And I love, once again, the color combo, man. Look at that nice silver paint. Beautiful red eyes. Love that translucent green right there. Nice purple, that metallic purple for the head sculpt. Gray. I mean, you got gunmetal silver right there. Beautiful head sculpt. Wonderful, wonderful paint. And you got some nice... I guess, uh, no, no lot piping. Just a nice little green thing right there, but nice sculpt work. Look at the sculpt work on here, above there. Golly. Man, if they would have painted that like silver or green, that would have been awesome. But nice sculpt work throughout there for the shoulders. Wonderful purple right here, purple paint right there. He does have the purple Decepticon symbol, but you know with the jet fire, he can do the uh, switcheroo. So if he wants to... Uh, be the heroic uh, heroic Decepticons, he has that option too. So that's pretty cool. Green, I love that translucent green. You got the purple, that's plastic. You got, got a different kind of a, kind of a matte finish right here for the shoulders. It's weird, different than the shiny plastic. You got silver paint right here, silver paint back here. Really nicely sculpted detail work right there. And right here, not really a lot of, no much paint right there or anything like that. But very nice. I love this option where he can open the hand and then you can hold it, you know, hold a weapon. That's pretty cool. All right, moving down. Looks good. Got some got metal paint right here. Some sculpt work throughout the thighs. Then you got silver, kind of grayish silver right there for the toes. Purple. I think that's just plastic. And then here's the back. You already saw the top of that, but it looks really good. So very nice. And there's the back. <laughs> Tons of paint right there. That is awesome, too. And you got paint on the heel spurs, too. I mean, come on now. Really well done. I love it. All right, we'll go over some artic articulation. Um, he can look down a little bit. This thing goes down a little bit. like whoo, whoo. So you can look up quite a bit. Side to side. Uh, no add to. All right. Hard ratchets right there. Give you 90 degrees. You can go another hard ratchet right there. Can't go all the way around. I guess if you want to move this down, you may can get a little bit more. But, I mean, you can go up to there. That's that's enough for me. All right. Nice. Then you got a nice elbow ratchet right there. And it give you a little more than 90 degrees. So that's pretty good. Bicep swivel. That's good. And then with the fist, I already showed you the fist. They do swivel. And then they got that nice little thing right there. So that's good. So that's soft ratchets right there. It might not be hard ratchets. All right. He does have, does he have a waist swivel? I don't think he has a waist swivel. I couldn't remember. I don't think he does. No, but he does have a thigh swivel. So that's good. It'll help a little bit. You can van dam all day. Kind of wish they would have put ratchets right here because it is kind of a little loose, loose and goosey. I may put some uh, kiki on there to uh, tighten it up a little bit, but I wish they would have put some soft ratchets there at least. All right, hard ratchets right there. Go up to there. Back to there. Nice ratchets for the knee. So they put re knee ratchets. They put ratchets in there. I wish they would have put it to the side too. All right, toe tilt down. 
nothing up and you do have a rocker now it is tab in you can have them straight up but it kind of a little crooked right there but that's fine so that is good and in the back you already saw that again so there you go that is articulation and sculpt work of shattered glass jet fire now these ratchets are really hard sometimes the uh shoulder well the uh, tolerances may come out a little bit so just be wary of that so there you go shattered glass jet fire once again, let me correct myself. He does have a, a waist swivel. I knew he did a little one. It's just a little one. It's right here. So you get a little, not much, but you know, I think it's good enough. So at least it's there. So there you go. You do get a waist swivel. Apologize for that. I knew he did. I was like, I know he did. Oh, silver paint right here. You got some silver right there. More paint I missed. Golly, this thing is really painted well. So there you go. Real quick, he, there he is holding his weapon. Now you can separate them how you want to, but shows it on the box of them having a the double barrel. So there's that. All right. And I'll put his armor on as well. Some of these tolerances are kind of tight. Like a taiga. All right. So arm things you put right here. Just put on right there. Uh, his faceplate. You just kind of over his face like that uh, let's see chest piece uh, let's see where I put that up here all right you're just gonna kind of put it right there and then like I say you show that move this down and you can hold both these weapons put that down Come on now. And then you take these two little pieces and then they go on the back. You just, where does this go? Like that. And then you can put these on right here. And a couple more. And there you go. That is how you arm them up. I think the tie is that little, I mean, they're, they're in there good, but the little me mechanism right there, a little loosey goosey. So, but there you go. There he is armed up, Jetfire. And there you go. There he is next to the C Jetfire, just for some comparisons. And that looks just awesome. That is so freaking awesome. Jetfire. And here where they got the inspiration from, there's Shattered Glass Jetfire from the Classics line. And that is awesome. Once again, black and purple. Mmm, looks good. All right, there they are, the Pulse Exclusive Shattered Glass line. You got Jetfire, Megatron, Blur, Goldbug, and Starscream. So you got a, a Deluxe, a small Deluxe, Deluxe, a Voyager, and you got a Leader, and then you got Commander Class. That looks awesome. Man, I wish they would do some more. I really hope they do. There you go, comparisons. And Crappie Garnish, Crappie Tool Paper, a thing of Lysol, Squeaks, Care Bears, for more scale.
Well, all right, folks, let's talk about the Pulse Exclusive Shattered Glass Jetfire. Love them. He's awesome. Siege Jetfire was like my second favorite of that line. And this one is, is awesome. It's just a better color combo. I love the black and purple. You got the silver, uh, gunmetal silver throughout. I love that green. It really pops, man. I love it, man. It looks so good. Man. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's just so lickable. I like it. Um, only issues I really have are some of the tolerances. Man, he's got ratchets throughout everywhere, but not out here. So sometimes if you're messing around with him, he will start doing the splits. Um, like I said, I'm going to put some Kiki on there, and hopefully that might tighten up a little bit. But, man, other than that, he is awesome. I love the alt mode. The jet mode looks really good. Transformation's easy. Shouldn't take that long to figure it out. If you have the jet fire, you already know how to do it. Um, articulation's really good. I mean, he just needs a waist swivel. I mean, I'm sorry, not a waist swivel. He does have a waist swivel. I missed that a little bit, but I, I knew he had one. Uh, he needs an ab crunch. Other than that, awesome on the articulation. Pretty good. The paint spectacular awesome purple got some green paint you got some gunmetal you got some uh, uh silver you got some purple i mean really nicely painted there's a couple areas like the arms not a whole lot but you do got some line work throughout there so that's pretty cool but like up top man if they would have put some paint on there that would have really popped it you know that really really popped so that's you know but other than that you know he does got some good paint i like it and overall he just has a presence uh he's a fun transformer i mean he looks good like I said, I, awesome. I wish they would do more shattered glass. I really do. Man, if they could do a whole line, man, I'd be, oh, so excited. I just love this. I just love the color combo, man. Kind of looks like sky warp and everything. But yeah, very nice. All right, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing? My name is Shattered Glass Jetfire. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing good, doing good. What's up, Dirtfire? Hey, what's up, man? We go way back, man. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, how you been doing? Man, I thought you was big, Dirtfire, but boy, that's a big fella. Oh my God, do not let him kick the baby. He will kill me. Oh, you'll be all right. You want to kick the baby? Yeah, I've heard about that. Let me do a little bit. I won't hurt you too. All right. Okay, good job. All right, well, everybody, my name, like I said, is Shire Glass Jetfire. I'll be down here for a while. Hope to uh, make some friends down here. Yeah, man. Cool. You're cool. I like your color combo. Yes, I do too. Black and purple looks so good on me, doesn't it? Heck yeah, it does. All right. Well, y'all take care. I'll talk to y'all later. All right. All right. Well, that was my review for Jetfire, Sherry Glass Jetfire from Pulse. Man, he's awesome. I mean, I highly, highly recommend him. He's really good. He's the one, um, him and Star Trek were the ones I was looking forward to really a lot. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got them. So very good. All right. Well, hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me with some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. And is anybody in on this guy? Y'all like him? And I guess I'll see you on the next Transform review. And as always, you be good to yourself. Hell has, bro. And good night, folks. Man, look at this fella. That head sculpt is awesome. I like you could do the little switch with the Autobot and Decepticon. That's pretty cool. Good job, Hasbro.